Got it. Take it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's just to start basically. What do you like and not like basically about where this team is right now? Where do you feel like, uh, you know, what kind of strategy do you guys see in the Marquette game? Where do you feel like you guys got to work on to get better this time around? Um, honestly, I don't have any many dislikes. Um, I feel like we compete hard in practice. Um, the Marquette game was a, a good game for us. Um, I felt like it opened up a lot of our eyes. Obviously, we were down um, two bodies, but I mean, we, we hung in there. We played hard and we played aggressive. So I feel like you know, once we have a complete team, um, a lot of things will change and become more smoothly in our offense. Um, but as far as on the defensive stand side of the ball, I feel like. Uh, we communicate well. Um, everybody does their part, and um, I feel like we just, you know, continue to take pride on the defense and, um, you know, things to take care of themselves. Joe, um, I think our game against Marquette was a, was a great, great learning experience for us um, to get out there, and play somebody new, play somebody fresh, um, instead of beating up on, beating up on ourselves. Um, I think uh, it's something that we've uh, kind of noted and uh, we want to want to grow from, and um, you know, hopefully we look like a, a different team here, you know, in a couple weeks compared to. Them. Tom. Joey, can you talk a little bit about uh, uh, how it's gone for you and your some yards and getting used to some new teammates? Obviously, you've got college experience, but you're around a new bunch of guys now. How's that all been? Uh, it's, been a, it's been a smooth transition. Um, you know, there's a, we have a great, great locker room full of guys. And, um, you know, everybody, everybody wants to learn, everybody wants to grow. Um, so it kind of makes, makes that whole process pretty easy. Um, you know, we, we can talk. And, uh, you know, hey, this is what I'm seeing, or hey, you know, this is what I'm seeing you could do. Um, you know, kind of, kind of bouncing ideas off each other. Um, you know, it's been, it's been, it's been a good process. Jim, uh, with some of the uh, pieces missing in the backcourt, I mean, how as frontcourt players can you guys, you know, pick up for that absence and you know help out? Um, I feel like we just got to continue to do what the coaches preach, and that's to run the floor hard um, on both ends, offense and defense. Uh, like, like you said, with some of our players being down, um, our front court, uh, back court players, that we need to, as front court players, you know, put pressure on the defense in the middle of the paint. And so that's what we, that's what coaches have been stressing. I feel like we've been doing that a lot. Um, and I feel like we have a deeper team um, um, as far as in the front uh, front court more than we did. Um, my last year has only, only been me. So I feel like, um, you know, coaches have been rotating us up. And with race being healthy, is a great contributor to uh, everything that we do. So. To go off that, you just mentioned how the front court is deeper. I mean, for both of you, how have you seen the different kind of ways you can play with Justin, Trace, Race? I mean, just all the different kind of guys you can kind of play with down in, in the front court. Um, I mean, we all just, you know, we kind of bring a little bit of, you know, different things. I feel like, um, you know, like a guy like Race is always off on the glass, always energetic, so always doing the little things right. So, and then, um, but I think the good thing about our, all our front is we're all capable of, of making post moves and being aggressive and being efficient in the, um, around the rim. And, you know, once one post player comes out, it's not like, oh, you can take a break or forget about the next. It's boom, boom, boom. We can have hit you with four, and then we can also play together, too. So, Duran, Duran as far as the, the rotation, I know you're one of the leaders on the team. Do, is it, does it make it easier to, to be a leader on the court, or is it one of those things where, yeah. you know, the less time you spend, it makes it a little more difficult? Now, honestly, the addition to Joey has uh, actually made, you know, the vocal and the leadership role for us, like with our pigs, um, a little lot more, like a lot less stressful for me, I guess. And to know that, you know, if I come out the game or if Joey comes out the game, that we have young guys that are, you know, stepping right in to, you know, fill that role. Uh, Coach mentioned rebounding is one of the things that was a little disappointing during the scrimmage against Marquette. How are you guys uh, addressing it in practice and how physical it's been? Joey and Jerome? Um, we've been, you know, we definitely definitely had our had our rebounding drills that we that we've done. It's been it's been competitive. It's been a point of emphasis. Um, we watch film and it's something you want to learn and, and grow. And after you see it on film, it's something that uh, that definitely definitely sticks out. And, uh, something that we want to continue to get better at. Yeah, you know, yeah, same thing with Joey said, and um, I mean, like on our practice points are, um, as far as regarding like, the gold jersey, you, you, they have our percentages up there, how much we're going in practices and in the game. So I mean, you kind of see for yourself where you're at, and you know, being the competitors that we are as a team, you know, we always want to, you know, the team to do better in practice against each other or um, in the game. So those percentages kind of help us engage to see where we're at. For you guys, Coach Noah talked about the differences and the way you guys run your offense when Al's at point guard compared to someone like Devontae or Rob. So, 
what are some of those differences for you guys as front court players when you have you know a different guy running point, and especially with Devontae and Rob being hurt to start the season? Um, I, in my opinion, I feel like um, I really don't know like the, the strategies we took behind what coach is doing for that, but I know for me being a um, big that you know is pretty aggressive down low and likes to pass at the same time. I know that if I have a uh, you know Devontae at the two, he's going to be you know on the wing and you know ready to shoot. So just depending on who's in that spot, and I know if a guy like Rob or Al's at the two, then um, you know we also have a spot of shooter, but we also have that motion to continue the offense. You know what I mean? Just because, um, you know, like, like I got like Rob is not as aggressive as a Devontae as far as, you know, shooting the ball and things like that. So. This is kind of for both of you guys. Um, Joey, if you can give me your take on what has impressed you the most about Deron in the fall. And Deron, if you can do the same thing, give me your take. What's impressed you the most about Joey this fall? Um, I think Nero has a, has a knack for, for getting the ball where he needs it. Um, and, you know, obviously he has, he has every... Uh, you know, shot fake, wiggle, you know, every everything in the post uh, to be able to, to create create his angles of score. You know, he has great touch. And, um, you know, it's definitely definitely there's always a, an ongoing battle and whenever the ball goes inside to make sure you're staying staying disciplined or, or whatever because as soon as he gets that little bit of a of an advantage on you, you're kind of you're kind of done just because he's so he's so skilled and so strong. Um, a couple of things with Joey, uh, just his energy and effort off the court and um, like in the weight room. He kind of um, held us together this off season, and he's continued to, um, you know, keep helping me get through the weight room and get, you know, um, continue to push me there. Um, and then, you know, on the court, I mean, like, like, like two passes ago, maybe three passes ago, he with this like running sky hug, like, whoa, like you can't block that, like, you know, so just and it's just like it gives me a bigger body to go against in practice. It's like every day, um, even though Jamo was an outstanding uh, post defender. Uh, you know, he was still shorter than me, so you know what I mean. So if I got to a spot, I could just shoot over him. But with Joey, I have to pick and pick and choose what I need to do around the rim and pick and choose my moves. So, and along those lines, what's been tough to guard with with Trace Jackson uh, Davis? What makes him you know, score inside, and, and uh, what you need about him? He uh, he has an ability where if you think you think he's going left. Or he, uh, you know, you, you think he beat him in the spot or whatever. It seems like he just kind of, kind of keeps going up, keeps elevating his arms, keeps stretching out. Um, you know, you, 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 sometimes you, you're, you think that's, you know, that's, that's pretty, that was a pretty, pretty good effort on, on defense. And you know, he just kind of, kind of beat me out. His, uh, his knack, you know, he, when, he, when, he, when he gets going, he rebounds the ball really well, and he plays hard. Um, you know, he's just got, kind of got that, kind of got that ability. All right, guys, thank you.